gentlemen, it is your boy Lewis, man. Welcome back to the Lewis Basketball Network, and I am back with another banger with yet another video. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to always receive the latest content I truly provide. I appreciate you guys for always taking the time to watch my videos, and make sure at the end of each video, make sure to share this video. Only helps the channel grow. Truly appreciate it, guys. My goodness, man. ESPN is sick as heck because they also, on the on the La Toxic 3-6 Mafia train, which we already knew, but... For some reason, I'm going to ask this question again. Why is this even a question? Why is this even a issue? Why is this even a topic? Because, ladies and gentlemen, ESPN decides to put a story about the, the Steph was at an event and he had his top five players and the players that he chose were Shaquille O'Neal, he chose Will Chamberlain, he chose LeBron James, Magic Johnson, and Michael Jordan. And then they have the nerve to ask the question, Is does Kevin Durant take issue with that Steph Curry not choosing KD on his top five list? You know what this says, basically? That they're trying to do every way possible to pr pretty much destroy and dismantle the Golden State Warriors because they're running out of topics. Now they're basically using a man's own top five list because Kevin Durant plays with him, that that should be a reason for Kevin Durant to go into free agency. So basically what this means is they're going to find a way to link this to Kevin Durant's free agency and why he should leave because it would be good for the NBA and because he, he can't lead a team. Yo, the media pundits are so, so sad. So sad. See, if I was Kevin Durant, I would stay just to make those little cronies really mad because they think that they can, they can control your mind because we all know how sensitive Kevin Durant is, that they think they can control your mind to tell you where it is you should go because you haven't led a team. And I've said this before. If I'm Kevin Durant and I really, really care about winning championships, why would I leave a golden situation in Golden State? Why? A new arena is about to open next year. You have a chance to win a third consecutive title and a, possibly a third finals MVP. And the thing is, if you happen to win another championship, let's say you do in the new arena. You will only elevate your status the more you win in Golden State because you were part of a dynasty. Now, again, people could say, you know, he joined the 73 and 19. Yeah, I get that. Whatever. My point is, and I've already I've already talked about how it was a weak move. So. If you're going to come at me with that, it's like you, you sound ridiculous at this point. But think about the history that Kevin Durant can make if he stays with the Warriors and he wins another championship this year, another finals MVP, and then possibly another one. He would possibly four-peat. Name many teams that have four-peated in NBA history. Only the Boston Celtics. So he would be the second team in the modern era, the first team in the modern era, and then the second team in NBA history to have a four-peat. That would be Golden State's fifth championship in the last six seasons. Because right now they're gunning for their fourth chip in the last five. But yeah, ESPN wants to make a story out of this. And they did a two-minute, 35-minute segment on if should Kevin Durant take issue with Steph Curry's top five list because he's not on it. Notice all of the players that are on that list are all-time greats. Kevin Durant's career isn't even done yet. And, and yet they're, wanting, they're trying to use that reason to connect it to KD's free agency. Look how desperate the media is, man. All these guys need neurologists, they need psychologists, they need something because it is ridiculous how they continue to try to spew this nonsense and try to brainwash us basically to show that now and to me, this is another way to say if Kevin Durant leaves, LeBron has a chance to win the West, go to the NBA Finals, win another championship and then use that as an excuse to go on Instagram and social media and tell the world, I told you I was going to bring a championship. And then, then you would say, even if Kevin Durant was here, I, I, I believe in my team. See, not only are they trying to break off the Warriors, but they're just going to bring this as another excuse to try to elevate LeBron if he happens to win a championship in year two, three, or four. Because now that Kevin Durant is not there. So if, if I'm Kevin Durant, if I care about setting my own legacy and trying to lead a team and trying to prove to lead a team, then I'll go to free agency and see what's out there to see what part of a team that I can form and be the leader of the team because I don't want to be a beta. I want to be an alpha. But if I don't give a crap, if I don't give a damn, if I don't give two shh what the media says about me, I stay in Golden State, 
keep making them mad, keep making them triggered, and have them spew lies on TV, and I just win more championships. Because at this point, I mean, we're already in an era that, remember, LeBron James started. Okay? So, but again, this decision is all up to Kevin Durant. But look how desperate the media is, man. They're trying to do, they're trying to say and do anything to just try to get, try to cause friction. And if Kevin Durant, you know, gets ejected one more time, you know, it's bad for the Golden State Warriors and all this kind of stuff and making all these stories. They're trying to, they're trying to hang on to every story, every, see, the media is such a leech. They're a leech. They're a leech when they're biased to their favorite player and they're a leech when they hate on a player. So if the if the word leech, I mean if the if the word hate is on a leech, they'll leech on to Kevin Durant and explain to you why they can't stand him. Now, if you have LeBron, it's going to be bias, sucking, worshiping, dick riding, love, and go leech onto LeBron James. That is how toxic the media is that Kevin Durant was talking about. And the media, with nothing better to talk about, decided to make a story about Steph Curry's top five list when he was at an event. Amazing, right? Yo, the media just seems to never fail, right? But this is Lewis, man, with another one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. As always, man, bless up. One love. Peace. Thanks for watching.